Hello, this is Cast Blue, and welcome to more Golden Sun! Where I'm let's playing Golden Sun. Yeah. That intro just happened. We are back in Kolima because it's the closest place to where we're going. Uh, but while I was here, I figured I would buy more armor. Because I ran the numbers and I can afford it. Just barely. <laughs> So, it seems like the thing to do. Because I, if I remember right, and to be fair, I may not, the coming up forest is fairly difficult. Uh, it is long and kind of a grind fest. I mean, not a grind fest in, as in we're grinding up experience points or money or anything. A grind fest as in long, and a little bit, well, maybe not difficult so much as tedious, but having more, better equipment will help. Anyway, uh, is there anything over here? Caught by surprise? By rats? How embarrassing. Uh, what are you guys even weak against? I don't remember. I guess it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm gonna get a significant amount of XP from you anyway. Oh, I thought for sure that would kill it. Oh well. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You deal negligible damage to me at this point. And hey, I leveled up. Cool. Sleep, really? That's not cool. Sleep is the opposite of cool! Some status... There are some status effect spells, in particular the buffs, that are very much worthwhile to have. And in fact, actually, not just the buffs. Some of the debuffs are legitimately useful. Uh, sleep is not one of them. Well, this is it. I think. Uh, wait. Oh, I remember this! If you came here, down here, before rescuing the people of Kolima, he would have been a tree. Just so you know. Um, because you can totally come here before now, but you can't actually get past it. Are you going- yes, I'm going across the bridge. Oh, right! Go right ahead. Uh, yeah, there was nothing there. This whole area is really just to make sure you cannot progress without solving the tree problem. For a while, I thought no one would ever cross this bridge again. <laughs> Everyone enjoy crossing. For it could be your last. Close enough. Now then. I believe, uh, wait. Lizard men! Well, I know for a fact you're weak against fire, so sleep is just such a shit spell. <laughs> so, let's try to exploit that. Um, oh hey, I have heat wave. Wait, is he does that mean I also have... It does not. Well, that's kind of lame. Oh well. Let's try to finish one off with Fever. And... It worked! Double kill! Well, not really, but... Anyway. Anyway. And I can't really do the repeat re performance, unfortunately. Oh hey, by the way, this is something interesting to note. Um, you may not have noticed it, but when you kill an enemy in the middle like this, then you're using a spell. Well, the Ginny is a sort of a bad example, actually. Uh, oh wow, that didn't kill either of them, that was- ooh. 
that was a bad play on my part. Uh, this is, normally hits three people, right? And, ex and there's only two, so I should be able to hit both of them. Except I killed the one in the middle. Because there's one space between them and it's empty, now I can't target that space. And I can't hit all both of them, or all three, with my synergy. It's something you should keep in mind for, well, maybe not this particular situation, because this is just bad play on my part, not killing them, but for similar things in the future. Uh, anyway, anyway, these guys are both nearly dead. Case in point. Now then. There should be something around here. Ah, uh, there it is. Before we hit the evil forest, we enter the Fuchin Temple. Hey, how did you get here again? Is the bridge open? Yes. Really? Then I can go home to Kolima now? I thought I'd never go home. What with the cursed forest and all. And yet you're still here. Ah, throat's starting to get sore. Gems from the sky, blue lights in the north, all omens of disaster. They match legends of destruction described in our oldest scrolls. Hmm. Well, it's probably for your scrolls are probably from the time of alchemy, then. Om. Om. Blue lights of the north. Terrifying. A rain of broken stars. A forest suddenly grows. All omens. I guess he's talking about the evil forest. I hope it doesn't doesn't petrify I and then we need to run out when we kill the plant brain in the center. Cause that's that kind of is just subpar. And I also I don't think we have any super softs in this game. Many stars fell from the sky, just as it says in the scrolls. Is this truly a protend of the world's destruction? Uh, depends on who you ask. Nyunpa has not eaten in days. He is going to waste away to nothing. Isn't it not noble, rather, of him to try to save the world by becoming enlightened, I guess? However, I really do not want to see Numpa waste away. And it's a Synergy Stone, and also a healer. Although there's no shops here, there is a Sanctum, which serves two purposes. Because your Sanctums are also your Restore Points, meaning if you ever, um... If you ever uh, have a total party wipe in a battle, you will return to the last um, sanctum you visited. Always. So keep that in mind if you're playing it risky. Which I am really not. Oh, hey. Speaking of though, I should heal Ivan. And let's talk with Isaac as well. Hmm, who is that who speaks into my mind? Young Master, was that your voice I heard in my mind just now? Uh, why, of course. I knew it! You follow them, do you not? Yes. Yeah, apparently so. I assume them refers to Sadras and Merity. But you must go through Mogul Forest, the Endless Woods. The forest itself is a mystery, and its paths are even more so. No ordinary man can pass from one side to the other. But perhaps you could, young master. If you can endure the trials in the Waterfall Grotto, I will tell you. Wait, what? 
What, what do you mean, Waterfall Grotto? I guess? Man, I totally forgot about this. Do not worry, you will be permitted to enter the grotto. Go now. Isaac! I think we're not the only people who are psychic. Now. Just remember, you are not the only ones who can read minds. Evidently so. Um, let me think here. Is it? No, no. Ah, it's, it's where the guy was standing in front of the waterfall before. Haha, -ha, you thought he was just doing the monk waterfall thing. Not so. I have already heard of your test from Master Nyu. Ha, uh, you may enter. And he jumps! And in we go. Fuchin's Falls Cave. The dragon's flame illuminates the path of truth in darkness. Okay, so these logs are a little bit similar to the other logs, except you notice they're square. Why are they square? Because we can do this. Uh, you always go until you reach the other end. So, welcome to a new generation of log puzzles. Oh, that was a mimic. I did not know that was a mimic. It honestly surprised me a bit. Um, yeah. Let's just kill it, actually. Because screw mimics. Oh wait, actually no, you should use this to drop his attack power. And I'm pretty sure Heat Wave is his currently his most powerful ability. I think. I haven't looked this up, but I think Heat Wave it well, we'll see. Brer Oh shit. Um yeah, Brer is obviously Venus Gen um, Synergy, and as such, hits Ivan really hard. Okay, it's weak against fire, that's good to know. Uh, boost, and... Heal, wait. Yeah, heal. And... that, and... Let's try using Fever. Although it might be too early for Fever. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, really? Really, Ivan? You're supposed to be better than that, Ivan. Nope. Didn't do it. And his attacker returned to normal already? That is really soon. So no boosted experience this time around. That That's kind of unfortunate, but oh well. Um, Spire. Um, Tundra. And I may as well... Actually. Actually, no. I'm gonna do this. Because I still might have the opportunity to finish him off with, uh, Fever. Although it would be a hell of a lot easier if Ivan was awake. Delusion does help- oh, okay, good. You can't- no you can't because you have a Ginny active. Damn it! Damn it, Ivan! You were, were supposed to buff Garrett, not steal his kill! Oh well, if it happens, it happens. What you gonna do? Um, drops attack power some more, is what. And, you know, maybe Garrett will even get the last hit. I doubt it, though. Yep. Well, to be fair... Well, whatever. I could've... Wait, a game ticket? Really? All the, the Mimic had a freaking game ticket? That is so not worth. Um, right, though. I need to set my Ginny. Oh, no, it don't. Okay, then. 
Oh well. It's not a big deal. Um, jumping puzzle. Wait, no, this is not correct. What a bad start. Um... What is the point of that? I don't even know. Uh, what's over here though? It's probably something. Yep, a shortcut to go this way. Um... I don't think there's anything here. Oh, it's another tablet. Rays of light give birth to shadows, revealing the way. Okay, so this room's completely dark. I take that to mean we need to light up this room somehow. Probably involving that dragon statue we saw. Also, a skeleton? Really? That is just so out of my league. Or rather, it's out of my league. Same difference, really. Although the implication is slightly different, I suppose. Now, uh, nope, nothing up here. Over here. Oh, right. This. You know, that log does not look like it should fit there. Now, usually there's only... Excuse me. One mimic to a dungeon, so... Oh, hey! Arctic Blade! That is a new artifact! And also... Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, Unleashes Blizzard, which is a wa a Mercury element uh, unleashed. Meaning that if you have a higher uh, Mercury score down here, it will deal more damage. Although, for most Unleashes, this is not really very important. Unless, you c unless it's convenient to line up the weapon on a party member who has a really high stat, then I wouldn't really bother bother worrying about it. Uh, that said, this is a long sword, so only Isaac and Garrett can use it. Um, that is plus thirteen. That is plus less than twenty. So, so I am gonna give Garrett the Elven Rapier. And I can sell the, the broadsword, so that's something. Yeah, this is probably for the best. Um, by the way, something to keep in mind, eventually when this rotates off of Garrett, Ivan can equip this, and the Elven Rapier is actually a really good weapon for Ivan. Um, he will probably be using it at some point. Although, when exactly, I'm un uncertain. Now then, uh, there we go. Spikes, do these hurt? Oh yes, they do. Do not walk on spikes. Um, go figure. Let's see, we want this. Although I think you can walk over the spikes if you really feel compelled to do so. It's not advised. And we're back in the starting room. Except now we're over here. We've almost completed the area, and it's a genie! Uh, wait. Haha! -ha! That's a pretty simple puzzle, to be honest. And we even needed to go over here anyway. Now, as usual, make sure you save, especially because this is a wind genie. And it will run like you would not believe. Uh, it, it runs really quickly, is what it does. Um, anyway. We are gonna just go all out on this shit. Uh, impact you. Uh, spire you. Um, I don't need to worry about dropping this attack power, because it's not that high. It kills you using synergy. And raise attack power. Because I'm sort of hoping it doesn't run away, so that I can just kill it with my, uh, with Flint. Uh, yeah, that'll hurt Isaac a lot. Actually, all things considered, that could have been worse. Th 
do need to heal Isaac, though. Um, boosting resistance might not be a bad idea, but I would rather just hit it a lot uh, in the face. Let's see, you should use... Uh, Isaac can survive one more hit. So, do that. And Heat Wave. Now, I don't think this round will kill it, but it will be pretty close to being dead. Oh wow, that is really too close. Yeah, that didn't quite do it. Now, you actually need to use a freaking herb. Um, you are going to use Flint, which will hopefully kill it. And if not, you need to heal Ivan, and you need to hit him with... You know, hit him with... Hmm. That will finish him off if Isaac does not. Ha ha! We did it! Boosted experience and money. Zephyr joined Ivan. Uh, although, tr trust me when I say that boosted. Like, you can't actually really tell because it's a Ginny, but all Ginny have the si same weaknesses and resistances, so... Uh, yeah, man. Isaac took a beating in that. That's what I mean when I say Jupiter Ginny are the bitches. They're just the worst. It's faster than half my party, which is actually pretty good because I'm a higher- I'm a pretty high level. Otherwise, it would be faster than Isaac as well. Um, it's- Synergy kicks the crap out of my party. And it runs away- it- although that one didn't run away, um, I'm actually lucky it didn't run away, because it was totally in a situation where it would have run away. Oh, almost walked on spikes there. Uh, by the way, what does Zephyr do? I want to say it increases agility. Uh, it does! Oh wait, what does Zephyr give me? Uh, luck, agility, go figure. HP, and synergy points. Okay then. And we're- I guess you can't walk across these, hmm. Well, maybe you can, I really don't remember. Um... I remember- if I remember this one right, though... Let's see... Yeah, this is it. Then we do this... Actually, wait, before I finish this, what's up here? The dragon is up here. Oh, I guess we need eyes for it. Or at least one eye. Um, that would make sense. And we the puzzle did not reset, so that's really nice. Because we need to walk down here, then do this! And that's how we solve the log puzzle. Now, I'm pretty sure there's no boss in here. But if there is, this is where it would be, so just in case. Let's do that. Isaac got the dragon's eye! And we put that in our inventory, I guess. Spirits? Really? That's the best you have to offer? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I got Ghostbusters on speed dial. <laughs> Or not, but, you know... Well, actually, I say that, but I definitely have a friend who has two Proton Packs, so... You know, I, I think that's a pretty good second, uh... best, next to having the go Ghostbusters on speed dial. Uh, yeah. Anyway... Let's socket this thing. Hmm. It's almost like there's a path there. I... Hmm. If I remember right, and I may not, let's just go this way. 
then that path is... Or then that shadow indicates... Oh, hey, lizard man. You know, just screw you, lizard man. Screw you. Uh, yeah. This is total. Actually, I don't want to do that, Isaac. I will attack you, though, and. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I hope Maya doesn't kill the middle one. Oh, nope, she did. Oh well. No biggie. I mean, it's a bit of a misplay, but... But oh well. Oh. Well, it worked out. Now then... If I remember right, I believe, yes, that's it. Uh, now here's the hard part. About there, I think? Oh, okay. I'm colliding with the wall- with the edges of the path. So that's good. Now, we're almost at the end. Um, is there like a box up here? I just want to check. There is not. Okay, that's the way out. So, this is what we came for. Also a box. The Orb of Force! Um, incidentally, it is actually possible to complete this game without the Orb of Force. Don't do it! Make sure you do not skip it, because not only do you need it for several Jinni and other, um, and to complete other puzzles, but, you, in the sequel, if you did not get it in this game, you cannot complete the sequel properly. Uh, anyway. We're here for this. The secret of key shall be revealed to the disciples of truth. Well, what the hell does that mean? I don't know. But hey, we have a new item! It give. This is another synergy item. And we are going to give it to... I want to give it to Garrett, actually, but... We're going to give it to Isaac. As... Garrett's still our move junkie. Uh, whereas Isaac is usually good for utility things. Now, Force is a field synergy, as all, all synergy items give you field synergy. Some of them can be used in battle as well. I don't actually remember if Force can. Uh, so that'll be interesting to find out. Actually... Will this tell me? No, actually, that won't even tell me if I can use it in battle. Right, anyway. Um, I'm gonna go this way just in case there's a box. Although I don't think there is. Um, no, there is not. Right. So, let's just retreat. So much quicker. Yes, yes I did. Why, you have mastered the secrets of Fuchin Temple! Master Nunpa is waiting for you. Proceed to the- I will. I actually need to sort of hurry this up, because I'm at 29 minutes right now. And I know I didn't have any cuts that time around. I probably should have cut out a few battles, but I didn't. Oh well. Excellent, Isaac! I am glad to see you master- Excuse me. The secrets of Fuchin Temple. We monks call the power you have obtained key. You seem confused, Isaac. I should have said no, I'm not, but you know, I'm I'm tired, okay? It's eleven. Uh this is called force by the Western world. 
But it really is spiritual power. I will teach you, as I promised, to use this power to go through the forest. What would happen if you let loose this energy in the forest? Haha! <laughs> Are you curious, no? Monsters that wait in hiding will show themselves. You would then try to defeat them, would you not? Sometimes you must let go of your belief that fighting solves problems. Monsters are cowardly. They will run once they know you can see them. They are creatures of the woods, so they do not get lost there. Okay, so what he's telling us is that the best way to get through the forest, and I said the best way because it's not actually necessary, although it does make it a hell of a lot easier, is you can knock monsters out of hiding. At monsters in air quotes, you'll see what I mean when we get there. And then you can let them run off and you chase after them and they show you the way through the forest. That said, that'll happen some other time, because I am so done for this episode. It's, it's long, and I'm tired. So, until next time, when we enter the evil forest, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun with Chaos Baloo, and have a nice day.